Hello, I'm Simon. Welcome to Simon's Cat Logic. We'll be finding out from a cat expert why cats behave the way they do. Today, we're finding out about playtime. Well, over the years, my cats have had hundreds of toys. They've had little mice, they've had little bells, little balls that go everywhere. And most of these toys have ended up under the sofa or under the fridge. Teddy's favorite toy is actually this simple piece of string. And this is his actual favorite toy in the world. It shows like he's been mauling this all day long. And what I like to do is just put a little knot in the end to give it some weight. And that helps it weigh it down when you drag it along the floor, twitch it like it's a little animal in little erratic movements. And that will drive your cats crazy. And he will chase this all day long. If you go outside and put this through the long grass, he is just the happiest cat in the world. If you have an indoor cat, you may be wondering how much exercise or play that they need. Certainly cats that are indoor only would require more exercise and play than a cat that has outdoor access. Although there's no definitive amount of time a cat should play, indoor only cats should have multiple short play sessions throughout the day. It's important not to play with kittens or cats using hands or toes as this will teach them that they're a fun toy. This can be very painful for owners. It's much better to use something like a fishing rod toy, such as this, which keeps the place safely away from hands. And as you can see from, oh, from Nigel, um, they absolutely love them. The great thing about fishing rod toys is that you can use them to show different styles of play. So for example, whether you have it up in the air, like this, or if you run it across the ground, a bit like a mouse. So if you are using a fishing rod toy, it's best to avoid dangling the toy in front of the cat's face. Cats are far-sighted, meaning they can't see that well under 25 centimeters. Cats much prefer it to have the fishing rod toy moving it away from the cat similar to how prey would move. Fishing rod toys are great because they allow the cat to catch and kill the toy. Giving cats the opportunity to be successful releases endorphins or happy hormones and makes them feel good. This is why laser toys can sometimes be frustrating and may be best avoided. But if you do use a laser toy, always end the game on a physical toy like a mouse so the cat has the opportunity to catch and kill something. Other small toys such as balls, string mice and ping pong balls can be very exciting for cats to play with. We'd recommend that owners experiment with different types of toys as well as different styles of play to find out what their cat prefers. But however you play with your cat, it's lots of fun for them and for us and it helps reinforce the bond between the owner and their cat. Well, my cat Hugh, who was the inspiration for Simon's cat, used to love a little laser toy, a little mouse laser toy, and it had a little key ring at the back. And whenever you rattled that key ring, he would run from wherever he was, asleep or in the garden, he would come shooting in and start to try to hunt that little red dot. Funny enough, the other cats weren't that bothered about it. Little Teddy, he used to have a little go, but then he used to lose interest. But Hugh would just follow that thing all day long. He absolutely loved it. That was definitely his favorite toy. Hmm? <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Mm-hmm. <laughs> 